Okay, we are back. Got our crops going. We finished our first temporal storm. Now let's make some progress in this game. There's spears. We didn't use those. And let me double check our clay stuff here. Okay, so this is still going. Okay, what to do now? I think what we should do is start working on beekeeping. We did find a beehive somewhere over there. And I actually have way too many spears. But I'll drop them off as I need them. Uh, where's my recipe? There we go. Cattails and we need some clay. So what I'm going to do is build maybe like three skeps. I forget the recipe, but it's one. Okay, so it's two in each slot. Okay, here we go. Let's put the clay back. I will need some of this cat mint. I'm not going to take the other flowers because I do need them. Just fully stock up on bandages. Oh, I probably should put down these cattail roots as well before I go. Now, what I want to be doing is building a path here. It's going to be three blocks wide. And my current bushes are in the way. Or maybe I can build around them. Just leave them there. So I guess that means I'll put the... Wait, let me check, see how much space I have around here. You know what? Yeah, I can put a path here. And then I'll put... Or cattails over here. Might as well just get this going. So we're gonna leave a space here for the white currants. One, two, and then we'll start putting them down here. Now I would have gotten the scythe, except we don't have that many cattail roots. So I'll just do this real quick. There we go. And I'm probably going to use these flowers in my beehive area, so I'll just leave them there. And I'll just pick up flowers along the way. Oh, I picked up another spear. Okay. So I'm still building a path in this direction. This is going to go through the water here. It's going to go through this area. Oh, I should get some of these cranberries. I mean, I do have lots of food already. I'll collect them, just in case. So, with this path along here, I'm actually going to put a tunnel here. And then go through this thing here, and it'll pop up the other side. That way I have easy access to the area over there. Like in the last playthrough I did make a tunnel, but that was during the winter time. So instead I'm gonna make a tunnel during the springtime. Like it's still May, it's still very early in this playthrough. So if I get the tunnel up and running sooner, that basically means I get to use it more, which makes it more useful throughout this entire playthrough. So this area should be clear of wolves. So I shouldn't have any problem here. Oh, there it is. Now the beehives are over here. Now I do need to transplant these cooper reeds and fill up this area. just put some packed dirt here. Now I do need to put some low fertility soil in here. Just so I can have the flowers planted here. 
Let's clear out these leaves. Gotta be very careful. Don't want to uh, break the bee's nest. I have to find it first. I'm just going to chop this a little bit at a time until I can expose the beehives. Where are you anyway? Or is it on the other side? Uh, K will just have to prune this tree anyway. Get rid of the cattails as well. So the beehive is over there on the other side, in which case... Oh, there it is. Here it is. It's a medium hive. That's fine. So, I guess we can put down the soil here. Just prune this a bit. Let's also get rid of these cattails, but... Oh, we are going to need to clear out our inventory of these spears, so... Yeet! Yeet! No third yeet. Okay. And we're gonna collect these roots. Oh, what time is it? Okay, it's 4.23. So late in the afternoon, it's almost evening. And I'm just gonna take these Cooper reeds. Might as well transplant them back to base. Let it regrow there, that way we can have an easy to access supply of cattails as they grow back. Now, this is another thing I didn't really do much sooner in the last playthrough. So, I'm doing this like in the first month of the playthrough. Which means we're going to have a lot of cattails. Oh, there goes my knife. Alright, I think we need to... Let's just dig stuff. I, I probably should have put away this flint hoe. And where's my shovel? Did... I need to make a shovel? Alright. Okay, let's make this shovel, start getting some dirt. At least there's some dirt nearby, so we'll just take from here. And we don't really need that much dirt, we just need enough to plant our, I guess, plants. Twenty-eight should be good enough. Somehow managed to drop that. But anyway, we'll put our dirt here. Oh, jeez. I just erased those cattails. Put our beehives like right here. We're gonna put you right here. So now put our skeps here. This way, any animals nearby won't be able to grab it. And then we put down some flowers. Now we are going to need more flowers. Now, if I remember correctly, horsetail counts as a flower for the purposes of beekeeping. So, I guess we'll just transplant these. Oh, resin. 
really should be taking this resin. Got two right off the bat, but we will plant all this horsetail here. And we'll also take this cat mint. Oh, whoa, 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 please no. All right, I'll just take any loose blocks. I think that's it. I just wanted the cat mint. And it'll be a while before they detect the flowers. Well, they're actually detecting four already. So that's fine. Uh, before I go, let's make a couple of knives. I want to try to take as much of this uh, Cooper reeds as possible. And then we'll transplant them back at base. Now I'm setting them up so they're nice and easy to harvest with a scythe. Yeah, the sun is going down. It's going down quickly, so... Gotta work quickly. And we do need to get back as much cattails as possible. We did burn through a lot of them to make those uh, skeps there. I don't really want to do this with the flint knives because they don't work as fast as say like metal knives. But since I don't have copper yet, I, I do have to work with this. We are getting some early skeps going, early beekeeping. We're doing things a lot earlier than in the previous playthrough. Okay, 722. I'm just going to prune this part of the tree just a little bit, get some sticks in the process. Oh, we are getting hungry. That's okay, I have food. So once I get all of the cattails in this area, we'll head back. Please do not collapse on me again. I already collapsed once, or... Oh, oh, come on! Jerk. Okay, I think that's it. This area is now clear. I don't think there's anything else for us to take here. So what I'm going to do is head back and let's try to figure out what to do next during the night. Okay, maybe I should start working on the beekeeping area. Since I'm already getting the bees to swarm into the skeps there, might as well. We get some early honey or honeycombs. Or actually, we can't really do anything with them, can we? Uh, at least not until we get a bucket. Well, at the very least, we can at least collect the honeycombs. Okay, here we are. We got plenty of flowers around this area anyway, so we can take those. And forget me not, I'm gonna place this far away. I don't like these flowers. They're like really tiny flowers. And they don't really do much for me. 
Wait, I don't hear anything burning anymore. Let's check on this. All right, so we got two more storage vessels. We got our uh, crucibles, two extra bowls. Okay, let's take this and forge is still good for one more day. You know what? I'm going to eat it now since it's about to expire. And then we have another thing of porridge. Still lasts for 2.6 days. I probably should. I'm going to put the bowls here. And our resin. Now I should build out another tool rack, I think. Just to store these tools. Yeah, I'm hearing the drifters now. Just put these away. Okay, in the meantime, let's organize this inventory. I'll keep the hoe in my inventory. And load fertility soil. I think I have a basket for that. Yeah, put it in here. Cattails go in here. And then we're going to put down the cattail roots. Gotta get some light on my offhand. Okay, since I have a lot of cattail roots, might as well get the scythe out. And let's double check this thing here. Oh, we're gonna need to water our crops again. And we're gonna collect lots of grass. We do need it for animal feed. Which is another thing we still need to do. We'll just do this. Oh, come on. You're still a derpy scythe. Oh, geez. Still have to deal with this thing. All right, so let's put down these cattails. Okay, there we go. Now, probably should retrieve these torches. I don't want them burning out, especially when I don't really have the ability to gain lots of sticks. So just retrieve them. Yeah, the place will be darker. But, I saved these torches. And I haven't really been keeping track of how long these torches have been lit. So it's really important for me to just refresh them. Once I start acquiring lanterns, I won't be able to need this anymore. Also need to keep track of which torches I've refreshed and which I haven't. So that's why I'm not taking that torch over there just yet. I'm just going in this pattern. Then after we do that, we'll water our plants. And then we'll refresh these torches over here. 
drifters are close. I hear you. There you are. Here's my spear. I hear it. Got two drifters here. There's another drifter. Right there. Ow! You actually hit me. There we go. And then we still got drifters out there. Maybe I should have waited till daylight before I refreshed those torches. Or took those torches down. Oh! I heard that snap. At the very least, it's a free inventory spot. Whoa! Oh, that fox? You know what? I'm gonna kill you. Would you stop m moving? Stop moving. So he chased the, the rabbit in here. Killed it. Ate it. Okay, let's move this into the house. Oh, um, well, let's put the flowers in here, put this over here, put this, I guess, you know what, line up the windows, instead of on the ground, we need, a, we need that space for the storage. Oh, oh come on. That door is annoying. Need to get that copper saw soon, just so I can replace it with a proper door. But anyway, there's two new storages there. And we are going to have to make more storages. You know what? I have to take you. I'll take you as well. Now we do need the fat for later on when we make some automation. Okay, so we got the crucibles. I'll just store you like right here. I actually can put four of you here. But you like, oh, come on. Stop that. Stop that game. I'm trying to put you down. There we go. Okay, the fat can go in here. Did I not get fat? All right, so flax twine in here. And we can use the bones for handles, so I guess I'll keep that. Oh, cow parsley. Might as well just put the flowers in here. There we go. And then we'll cook the meat. Still only has one more serving. You know what? Let's eat it now. Do we, like, do this or... or I guess we can't. Create one serving of red meat stew. Let's put some vegetables. Okay, so we got turnips here. Should only need one brick of this. And there we go. And I guess we can cook the bush meat here. I probably should rearrange the stuff 
in my inventory here. But we should have the spear here and an axe over here. I just want those commonly used stuff in my... Like, right close to WASD. And then over here, we will start building our uh, beekeeping area. And maybe I shouldn't use the scythe. Okay, let's try to get some flax or possibly a temporal gear, but they don't give it to me. So this will be a cross shape intersection. I'll be putting paths down here. And then over here, we're going to have a 4x4 four four, uh, beekeeping area. So we'll have 16 skeps. That's basically what I'm trying to build here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, probably should... It's probably going to be larger than that. I still have to measure out like the actual spaces for where the skeps will be placed. And I'm gonna need more shovels, aren't I? Just make two more shovels. Now I don't want to be here during the day. Because I actually want to be exploring when there's daylight. <laughs> 